In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Michigan. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Because of the state's diversified geography, rich history, and iconic city of Detroit, Michigan's most visited tourist spots cater to a wide range of interests. There are endless options for individuals who want to enjoy nature, particularly near the Great Lakes coasts, where freshwater dunes and coastal ecosystems far from the sea can be found. One of the most popular activities is visiting historical places, such as living history museums, such as Fort Mackinac on Mackinac Island and Greenfield Village, which is part of the Henry Ford Historic Sites. Detroit is a great place to visit if you want to experience life at a faster pace. It's a city that has worked hard to honor its history as the Motor City, while also growing as a major tourist destination and cultural center. With our list of the top tourist attractions in Michigan, you'll find more things to see and do in the state, from the bright lights of the city to the Great Lakes. Number 10. Belle Isle Park. The island of Belle Isle, located in the Detroit River, is home to a large park with a variety of attractions, the entrance fee to the island covers access to all of them. The Belle Isle Aquarium, the country's oldest aquarium, is a family favorite. Pufferfish and clownfish, turtles, seahorses, and even poison frogs are among the aquarium's occupants, which are housed in a historic 1904 structure with a magnificent green opalite vaulted roof. The Anna Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory, which spans 13 acres and includes the Lilu Pond and formal gardens, is another famous site. It comprises the Show House, Palm House, Cactus House, Tropical House, and a buried fernery, and is one of the country's oldest conservatories. Visit the Dawson Great Lakes Museum to learn more about the region's maritime history. The museum features permanent and changing exhibits that highlight the Great Lakes' economic and social significance. The stately James Scott Memorial Fountain, a giant slide, the Belle Isle Golf Range, and the Belle Isle Boat House are among the many additional attractions on Belle Isle. The Detroit Yacht Club is also located on Belle Isle. Number 9. The University of Michigan. Ann Arbor is home to the University of Michigan, which spans 2,800 acres. The Law Quadrangle, the Power Center for the Performing Arts, and the Natural History Museum are just a few of the remarkable old Gothic structures. The Kelsey Museum of Archaeology, which has rich collections linked to Mediterranean civilizations, the University of Michigan Museum of Art, and the University of Michigan Museum of Natural History are all popular attractions on campus. The Maffei Botanical Gardens are also worth visiting, despite being outside the campus. The Nichols Arboretum is located near to the core campus. Number 8. Detroit Zoo. The Detroit Zoo houses a diverse collection of species from around the world in a range of settings. African animals range from aardvark to zebra and include many family favorites such as giraffes, lions, lemurs, and various primates. The zoo's famous polar bears live in an arctic habitat, and the Australian outback is home to 16 kangaroos and two wallabies. Red pandas and Amor tigers can be found in the exotic Asian forest, whereas bears, wolverines, and bald eagles can be found in the North American environments. A reptile and amphibian center, an aviary, and even a fine art collection may be found at the zoo. The Small Tauber Family Railroad, which has been in operation since 1931, may take visitors on a tour around the park. Binder Park Zoo in Battle Creek also boasts a historic train ride and a wilderness tram across its African savanna habitat, and the John Ball Zoo in Grand Rapids provides a vast array of unusual animal engagement options. Number 7. Al Royal National Park. Al Royal is located near the Canadian border in northwest Lake Superior. This 432 square mile island, shaped by Ice Age glaciers, is home to numerous lakes and streams, deep forests, and a diverse range of species including wolves, foxes, moose, otters, ospreys, herring gulls, falcons, and more. Those seeking a distant wilderness experience flock to this relatively unspoiled stretch of land. Hiking routes and boat cruises are the finest ways to view the park. The only way to get to the island is by boat or seaplane. Most trips begin at Houghton or Copper Harbor, Michigan, or in Grand Portage, Minnesota. Number 6. The Henry Ford. 
This collection of three attractions, together known as the Henry Ford, explores not only the motor legend's life and accomplishments but also the breadth of American ingenuity. At historic Greenfield Village, visitors may take a trip back in time and see what life was like in the 19th century. Working Farms, a cafe serving 1830s fare, a railroad depot where you can take a trip on a steam-powered locomotive, and rides in a Model T are just a few of the attractions. From the Wright brothers' goal of flying to Rosa Parks' determination to see a change in her lifetime, the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation explores the stories of inventors and forward thinkers who helped form the world we live in today. The Ford Rouge production tour offers guests to see the inner workings of an automobile factory and learn more about the technology and concepts that go into modern vehicles for a glimpse at the most recent marvels of creation. Number 5. Frederick Meyer Gardens and Amp, Sculpture Park. Visitors can appreciate the fusion of art and nature in a variety of settings at the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Amp, Sculpture Park. Traditional foliage, a children's garden that invites interaction with its distinctive plants, a butterfly maze, and a tranquil Japanese garden with twin waterfalls are among the outside gardens. The farm garden is part of the 1880s farmhouse, which is a recreation of Lena Meyer's first home. The Lena Meyer Conservatory is a five-story tropical environment with many rare and exotic plants, and visitors may see monarch butterflies evolve from caterpillar to delicate insect in March and April. Sculptures can be found in both indoor and outdoor settings. Number 4. Pictured Rocks National Seashore. The copper, iron, and manganese oxide colors present in the rocks give Pictured Rocks National Seashore its name. It is located on the south side of Lake Superior. There are dunes, cliffs, beaches, and rocky shorelines in this area. Forests fill the interior, which is punctuated by inland lakes and rivers. Hiking, camping, and boating are popular activities for those who want to be close to nature. Cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, and snowmobiling are all available in the winter. Grand Island National Recreation Area, which is equally popular with outdoor lovers, is close by. Number 3. Detroit Institute of Arts. The Detroit Institute of Arts is noted for its extensive collection of human creative works dating back to the earliest societies. People from all over the world are represented in more than 65,000 works of art in over 100 galleries. Examples of pottery, stone, and metal can be seen in the museum's Islamic art collection, which includes works from classical antiquity, medieval Europe, Oceania, Africa, and the Americas. Paintings by Picasso, Rembrandt, Matisse, and Van Gogh are among the most sought-after European masterpieces. Tourists should visit the Detroit Public Library to admire the beautiful architecture, then walk down Woodward Avenue to the Detroit Historical Museum, which is dedicated to the Motor City's fascinating past and emergence as not only an industrial center, but also the birthplace of the legendary Motown Sound. Number 2. Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore and Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan, despite being the third largest of the Great Lakes, is the only one that completely surrounds U.S. soil, giving the state the distinction of having the second longest shoreline of all 50 states, after only Alaska. The Michigan Maritime Museum in South Haven offers a comprehensive look at the lake's significance, and there are various boat cruises excellent for sightseeing, such as the tall ship Manitou near Traverse City. The Beaver Island Archipelago and the Manitou Islands are famous tourist destinations on the lake's islands. The Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore includes the Manitou Islands, which are notable for their vast dunes perched on headlands along the seashore. This state park is one of the most popular, with a variety of hiking paths and the 7.5-mile pier stocking scenic drive along the shore. Warren Dunes in Warren and P.J. Hoffmaster State Park in Muskegon are two other excellent lakefront dunes. Number 1. Mackinac Island. Before cars and buses, Mackinac Island provides a glimpse into a bygone era and a simpler way of life. Visitors can take a ferry to the island and spend the day shopping in the ancient town, riding in a horse-drawn carriage around the island, hiking, or visiting Fort Mackinac. Mackinac Bridge was opened in 1957, connects Mackinac City in the Lower Peninsula to St. Ignace on the Upper Peninsula. It was one of the world's longest suspension bridges, and it eased traffic congestion caused by automobiles waiting for ferry passage across the straits. 
Many intriguing and unique objects from the construction of the Mighty Mac can be found at the Mackinac Bridge Museum. How many times you have visited Michigan? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.